I've learned throughout life that self-care is best um, understanding the needs of yourself and making sure that you can take care of yourself and that you're doing things that will help you be a better person, um, whether that's mentally and or physically, because if you're okay with yourself, then you're able to care for others. You're able to clearly see the needs of others and examine how you can benefit them, how you can assist them and help them to become better. So one of the ways that I really try to care for for others is actually in my role and that's one of the reasons why I love what I do. I serve as a career coach um, at Xavier in the Career Development Office and I serve students every day through helping them throughout their career journey. Um, and so when students come in for career appointments, a lot of times they have concerns about their major, um, about the job search, interview skills, but a lot of times other parts of their life that are affected by their career choices will also come up and so I really make a point to not just care for the student as somebody who is has career goals and has life ambitions but also to care for them as a whole person and to engage them um, in conversations in other areas of their lives as well so that's one way that I really try to care for my students not just as students but as people too sometimes we are all doing things outside and uh, studying and working and uh, having fun as well and then we forget to ask like deep into ourselves like what is happening with myself how I'm feeling uh, either my physical health my spiritual health my mental health uh, and those times are like sacred like you really have to have to, those times with yourself and then of course how are the people that surround me like am I caring for the others my family my friends here and outside uh, my professors, the faculty, the people who work here at Xavier. Uh, am I caring for the others? What can I do to help them? Like being kind to them, I think it's like the first thing that comes to my mind. Um, I will learn to lean more on the support system that I've built at Xavier and contribute back to that support system and support um, my friends and people in my classes and just everyone around me. I think self-care is very important, especially those that are on paths seeking uh, justice in the world and uh, seeking uh, to be of service to other people. Um, because injustice is heavy and knowing people's stories and having being welcomed into other people's lives, especially those who are suffering from injustices in, in different ways than I am and ways that I probably will never experience um, can, um, can be heavy. And so prayer is important for me every day. I'm a Catholic priest. I celebrate the sacraments. I participate in the Mass. I am nourished by the Eucharist. I uh, take time for personal prayer every day. I pray in common uh, with uh, other Jesuits and with people in, in churches and other places in the city. So that's very important. So nourishing time for reflection, making time for it, carving it out during the day is essential too because the work of justice makes one very busy. And also uh, self-care by recreating with others, by making time for being with friends. and. Trying to get regular exercise is important for me also, and trying to eat right. The places where I get most excited about being on a campus are the places where we get to care for each other. It's strange to say because often those are the hardest places, places where somebody's grieving, places where we've had loss, places where something really hard has happened. And yet that is where I see community come alive. And it's truly because of a sense of cure personalis, of asking people to bring their full selves, but also to care for them as that full person. It is odd to say in my vocation as a pastor that some of my favorite things to do are preside over funerals. But funerals are one of those places where you see families, communities, friends, loved ones, people who never knew each other but knew the same person come together to care for each other. I think it is foundational to who we are called to be as human beings. It's foundational to our experiences of community and each other. And I am most proud to be a musketeer when I see us really live that out. In the world that we live in today and the pace of work that we are in, running all the time, trying to chase one thing after the next. 
it is so important to simply pause, take care of yourself, and take care of others around you as well. That is the one most important thing for all of us to remember. My mission, those of us who are here um, as staff and as faculty, is to care especially for one another and, and for our students. And for that, we have to be present to them. We have to listen, we have to learn from them, and we have to both anticipate and respond to ways in which they might be struggling. COVID in this pandemic has really provided more than enough opportunity for us to learn more about the needs of our students and of each other in a really challenging moment where we have been forced to adapt and change in ways that have been unnatural, that have been um, challenging. Uh, and that, I think, is the beginning of career personnel, is just watching and listening and observing so that we can fill those needs that we observe in others. Part of, yeah, part of what I do to care for myself is to care for others, which might sound counterintuitive, but um, whether it's taking care of my family with a meal or helping provide for them, uh, working with my daughter with homework, but also, you know, through teaching, I think I'm in the right profession because through teaching, I feel really fulfilled with that I've, that I've cared for, for what I feel were my, uh, my values and my beliefs meet the world's needs. Um, that happens through teaching for me. So part of my cure of personality just comes from, from helping others. Um, other parts, uh, I'm enriched from a, a men's uh, Bible group that I'm in and we get to each hear each other's challenges and, and uh, successes in life. And uh, going, stepping through that really helps to, to be there for each other. That's an easy one. I, in terms of career personnelists for me, I'll take longer walks. I'll listen to Brandy Carlisle on an infinite loop and uh, certainly try to bring uh, a sense of peace uh, to uh, other people that I come into contact with, understanding that we all have different ways that we're handling certainly the way our world is today uh, in spite of the COVID pandemic. Really knowing the needs of my community and knowing the needs of the people around me will help me become the person the world needs me to be. Um, I can't do it on my own. I can't, I'm not gonna know everything. So really listening to others and listening to, to the people who've experienced it um, and, and really diving deep into how I can not help them but work with them to better their community. As a faculty member, I always strive to create meaningful opportunities for my students. Um, it is my one sole purpose in teaching is to create opportunities uh, for my students to learn and really to apply our class to their worlds. It is uh, a way to see that which affects me as an individual as being part of our society um, as well and seeing those connections between um, myself and others. I think Magis is really about uh, being open to different perspectives and, um, and keeping an open mind. Um, and so I try uh, the best I can to really engage uh, with people and with new ideas by uh, reading books, uh, by watching documentaries with, uh, you know, about new perspectives or new ideas uh, to really continue to develop and grow my own perspective so then I can engage in the world uh, in the best way that I possibly can. So I found that I really need to like look at my own privileges and like hold myself accountable and value them. And the way that I've done that is just kind of like when you're going into a community that might be like marginalized or facing discrimination, um, you have to be like aware that if you're going in there as an ally, you're not supposed to, you know, be like, okay, I'm coming in with this idea and I'm gonna help you because I know that you need help. You're really just supposed to sit back and like listen to them and, you know, hear what they want from you. And I think that's the best way to, to go into the situation. So one of the ways that I, I try to be the person the world needs me to be is, is by uh, being accessible to others and being open to yes. And so when people ask me to do things, I, I won't initially say no, I'll, I'll definitely think about it. And uh, if, I can, if I can possibly work something into my schedule, I will always try to do it. 
I will actively seek out not only uncomfortable situations, but situations that people tend to stray away from because those are the situations that make you a better person and also are the situations that ultimately make steps to change the world.